Okay, friends, today we are doing a Jomar wholesale unboxing video. I have been trying to get this box for so long. It sells out really quickly, and then it takes a while to get here because it's a pre-owned box and they sort through it for you. So this is the 66170 pack. If you don't know, 66170 is the RN number for the popular brand Free People, Urban Outfitters, and Anthropology. I have got this box before, it was pretty good. Um, I'll link it like up here, over here somewhere. This is 25 pre-owned items. The cost of the box is usually $140, but always shop on Jomar Wholesale using a discount code. If you put in my code, the Grateful Queen, all one word when you're checking out, you get a discount and an iron credit. So thank you so much to anyone who has um, used my code before. So. This box sells out really quick. I love selling these brands. My best selling brand to sell on eBay and Poshmark is the brand Free People. Now, to be honest, last time I got this box, a lot of it was Urban Outfitters. And of course, Urban Outfitters is not gonna resell for you for as much as Free People or Anthropology might, but still an okay selling brand. If you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I'm Quenby and I resell on eBay, Poshmark, ThreadUp, and Etsy. I do it part-time. I've been doing it for 10 years. I'm a full-time psychotherapist and I have another channel, The Grateful Therapist, if you wanna come and talk mental health with me over there. I'm hoping that this is a free people waffle knit top because those do really well for me and it is. Um, so here is the bar. I'll show you if there's different tags, but this is the classic bar tag and then it's the size extra small there. This is their waffle knit. See how it kind of looks like thermal? In fact, in my title, I'll put waffle knit thermal because I'm not sure how customers are gonna be um, searching for it. This is it has kind of a cropped length and it's a dolman, which means it's super wide at the chest and then it has narrow arms. It's a pretty flattering style. Now that top, my guess is I can get 25 bucks for. If it, if that top was more ornate with crocheted or embroidery cuffs, I'd probably be able to get like 40, but probably I'm guessing for that one like 20, 25. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet, whatever it is. I think it's a free people too. Um, I don't see a tag, oh here it is. Here's yet another tag you guys. This is intimately free people and it's a little bit lesser value line, but it still sells well. Now this will do well because it's a little mini dress and look at that embroidery crochet uh, neckline there. It's whisper thin, it's like a slip dress. This will probably sell pre-owned for like 40 bucks. What's happening with this? Like, let's just take a minute with it. What's happening with that? It's drying weird. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to stay till the end. That's where we all hang out at the end of the video. And I put the bloopers there so we can laugh and have a good time. It's the best part of the video, so you'll wanna stay for that. Now, a lot of people say to me in the comments of YouTube and sometimes on Instagram, Quimby, I never find the brand Free People. Or Quimby, I go out thrifting, I never find anthropology in my area. Well, you're never going to be able to sell these brands if you don't find a way to find them. I do find free people when I go out shopping, but to be able to get a box shipped right to my door, 25 items that I know are free people, anthropology, urban outfitters, that's awesome. And so if you wanna sell these brands because they sell for more than like basic mall brands, you'll have to find a way to get them Jomar Wholesale's one way. You could also do some retail arbitrage. Go to places like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, and search through their clearance and see if you can find some of this brand there. The other thing to do is you can look right on Poshmark. Maybe a posher is having uh, a moving sale or they're really having a 50% off sale or something. So find a way to get these items if you wanna sell them. Don't just give up and say, I don't find them. Find a way to sell them, oh my God. Find a way to sell them, no, 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 no. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm super excited in this moment. Free People's my favorite brand. The last box I got had a few really good pieces of Free People, including this incredible marionette. No, Majinette? What? I think they called it the majorette jacket because it looked like a band jacket. It had epaulets. That sold for, I think, $79. And so that paid for a huge portion of the box. But look at this baby. Oh, yes. An entirely lace dress in a gorgeous rust color with a bell sleeve. Now, these pieces do look small. This is a four. And I don't know if this originally probably came with a slip. No, nope, the front of it's lined. Part of it's lined. Yeah, it does have a lining. So the back doesn't have a lining. So it's sort of open, but then the rest has a lining. That's a gorgeous piece. I will definitely be looking for stock photos and putting these on my mannequin so people can see how they really look. Friends, please take a moment to hit that like button, that thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you don't get the notifications when I go live. And we want to see you on the lives. This is Slinky Spandex. This is not anything, this feels like Chico's to me. I love selling that mature women's brand Chico's. You know how they have the um, Traveler's Collection? This is like a heavy weight spandex. It's a bodysuit and look at how it's all gathered and ruched at the sleeve. I bet this looks amazing on. I don't see a name brand of any kind though. Let's turn it inside out. Oh, it still has the hygienic li liner. So, oh, it... It says intimately free people on the hygienic liner, which I'm not going to touch because I once touched it during a video and one of my viewers was like, did you just touch that hygienic liner? And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> the things y'all do in a video. So this doesn't have a tag anywhere, but the hygienic liner says free people. Wow. Thank you, Jomar. I am so grateful for all this free people. I'm really amazed. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I love this box. This is like one of these mind-blowing boxes. So what I have sitting here right now, if I can make 20 bucks on each one of those profit, that's like $80 right there. Half the box is paid for. This is Free People Movement. This is a, a much newer piece by the brand. It's a hugely oversized oatmeal cream colored top. And then look at these sleeves. A huge balloon sleeve, high-low hem, and it's ribbed. And this is the Free People Movement um, logo. It's kind of a little hard to see that white on white, but that's what their logo looks like. And this is the Free People Movement tag. So they're all different tags. So just make sure to read the tag and see if it says Free People. Mama might be trying that one on. The worst reselling habit, keeping all the inventory. I'm guilty. Ooh, Moulin at Source by Anthropology. How was that pronunciation? That was pretty good, right? <laughs> Here you go. It's something like that. It's very franche. Size medium, a metallic halter neckline. See how it goes? That neckline's a halter neckline. A little bit of a pleated metallic. That's like a party top all the way. Anthropology, you guys. I started selling 10 years ago. Anthropology was like, if you found an anthropology piece, it was like, oh my gosh, you knew you could sell it pre owned 40 bucks or $50 even. Now I pass on a lot of anthropology. I do not even pick it up. So this is BDG, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. I usually don't pick this up unless it's got great style. This is a pretty basic, like striped thermal top. Won't make a lot on that. Ooh, another waffle knit. I think this is, no, I was gonna say it's the exact same top. Oh, this is We The Free. How many Free People tags have I shown you? I mean, they have so many lines. We The Free, it's still Free People. I still put Free People in the title. We the free. This is another thermo. This one's really fun though. It's cropped, really boxy and cropped, but look at the back. The back is all open. This balloon sleeve, they're just so popular. So that's probably like a $20 to $30 flip. Wow, I think I'm getting some new. I wonder if these were samples. Sometimes they get samples. And if you can find that box, the free people samples box, oh my god, I love that box. I've done really well with that box. Intimately free people. This is another bodysuit, a ribbed V neck. This box is making my day, friends. I'm so into it. Free people size six. This did not happen in my last box. My last box was mostly Urban Outfitters with a few good free people. This was so generous of them. 
This is a mini, a denim skirt in like a mustard color. Free people size six. This box, yes, yes, yes. Okay, and another free people size small. This is interesting for the brand. Okay, so it's in this brand in particular, I always put measurements in because I'm a small in free people. Sometimes an extra small because everything's so oversized and I'm like a size 12. So in no one else's world am I a small, but in free people because they make everything oversized. This is a gauzy blue and white stripe button down, but then look at the back. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all buttoned, but it's open. And see, it's just a blue and white pinstripe. This would be so lovely in the summer because it's extremely thin and lightweight. That's gorgeous. Now that'll look really good when I steam it and put it on my mannequin, baby, because with the mannequin, I just feel like you can see so much more of the shape and style and fit of the item. Free people size, extra small. This is a super plain little top but it's cute, just a little cream white top. It's almost like the sleeves have a little bit of, almost like a cap sleeve there. Really cute. 25 items, this is feeling like a lot. I have to take photos of all this, and then I have to build the listing, and put the photos in the listing, and price it, and then fold it up and put it in my inventory. It's a lot of work. This looks so small, looks like a kid's. I think Urban Outfitters, would you guys consider that a junior's brand? It's definitely a young adult brand. Super tiny, very cropped uh, ribbed thermal. That's so in style right now. All the young girls are wearing super high jeans and little, little crop tops. There's some teenagers that walk down. If you go to my end of my street, there's a path that goes to the plaza and there's a Dunkin' Donuts in there and you know some little shops and I see the girls walking down the street and they're they're probably preteen, like 12, and they have the little tiny crop top like that, and they're high-waisted jeans, and they're midriff showing. These are, this is Urban Rebel. I don't know if that's an Urban Outfitters brand. Is it Urban Rebel? Never heard of it. It's not Urban Outfitters. Little tiny pair of rust-colored paper bag waist shorts. An unboxing makes me happy, friends. Urban Outfitters, this is a what is it? <laughs> Urban Outfitters. This is a something. I'm going to say something. I think this is a romper from Urban Outfitters. It's cute brown floral. Oh, this will look so cute if I, if I could make it nice for you. Look at those oversized buttons. And it's a romper. It's little shorts. And it's a wrap. That's what's confusing for me. I don't get do I want to take the time to get this all together? Just trust me, this is going to be really cute. It almost looks vintage, inspired with these big buttons. What's this cherry print? Now, I'd be shocked if that was free people. I don't think they do like a cherry print. But let's see. This is Urban Outfitters, size small. It's really cute. This will do well because it's this novelty print of cherries. Oh, how sweet. Cute little dress. This will tie around the neck in a halter little mini dress with a cherry print. That'll do well just because of the, the print there. I wonder if there's anything in this box for me. I love this brand. This is another Urban Outfitters brand. I usually don't pick it up. Ecote or something or E-C-O-T-E. -E, there you go. It's got that little accent over the E so I thought it was like Ecote. I'm not the best with pronunciation. This is cute though, actually. I really like this. It's black with a floral print, an oversized button down. I bet you that looks really cute on. It's got pockets. Oh gosh, I'm reaching for this because, oh my gosh, heavily embroidered, heavily embroidered. Look at the embroidery on this. I think these are a pair of pants with just heavy floral knit embroidery. Oh, they're so good. They're a size 25. I'm not a size 25, but in this moment, I wish I was. Check these out. Check those out. They're like a utility pant, a cargo pant, kind of an olive green, totally heavily embroidered. That's the anthropology tag. So it's, it's not another line. It's actually anthropology's own line. A 25 is very small. The Wanderer. Please, can I go online and try and find a pair of those in my size? This box is amazing, is excellent. They're not always as good. Trust me, people. I buy so many Jomar wholesale boxes because I just don't get to thrift as much as I'd like. And 
I get the dud boxes that are just like, mm, are not great. I've never lost money on a box, but this box I think is particularly good. I'm not gonna lie to ya. Would I lie to you? Silence and Noise. Another Urban Outfitters brand. And this is the teeniest little crop top. Yeah, this has gotta be, this is a tiny little crop top that has that cage back where there's several straps, but that's what the ladies are wearing. That's what the girls are wearing. This is Silence and Noise. This is a very fuzzy, boxy, oversized sweater. I guess that's a mock neck. Mock neck, but see how it's like, it's like chenille. Isn't that kind of pretty, you guys? Look at the texture on there. That, that'd be great on. Gosh, look at all these tiny little tops, like. <laughs> Guys, it's a tube top. What year was it when I was young wearing a tube top? Was it like the 80s? I had little white, it was all smocking like this, a little tube top. Out from under, size extra small. I mean, is that really a top? <laughs> I'm showing my age. 45, is that middle age, you guys? Do you think I'm middle aged? <laughs> Urban Behavior, I've never heard of this brand. This top, is it's gorgeous colors, actually, but it's got that cold shoulder, which I think, I don't know, is cold shoulder still selling for you where the, where the shoulder's cut out? And this sheer stuff doesn't sell great for me. Just sheer in general, sheer stuff. Free people size small sweater. Cute, oh look at that, boxy sweater, but it's got a kangaroo pocket there in the front, so a nice big pocket. Kind of a gray and white. That's really cute. All right, a few more items. Oh my gosh, look what I just pulled out of here. Did I get any? Oh, I got those pants, Anthropology. Look at whatever this is. So it's like a chiffon. Look at how heavy and detailed that embroidery is. What a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Oh my gosh. Another by Moulinette Sore, size eight. Oh my gosh, wait till you guys see this. Wait until you see this. Holy moly, Jomar, I love you. So it's all mesh, it's all mesh. And then this is all studded rhinestones embroidery. This was probably hundreds of dollars. What an absolute, now I know. Did you guys see that video I put out where it's like I'm hoarding all the good stuff and I shared all this beautiful stuff that I'm not selling because I'm kind of attached to it? That's bad, it's bad. Because like this, I wanna hang up and just look at for a while. This is a piece of art, it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning. I'm gonna try and squeeze myself into it, but I'm not an eight, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, this last item is gonna be great because it's camo. Camo, all throughout my 10 years of reselling, has always sold well. People like camo. These are again, Anthropology size 26. I wonder if it was the same girl who got to wear those other amazing ones. Super cute, just a, a straight leg camo cargo pants. Look at the detail on the back there with these. Anyway, that box is amazing. I'm really, really grateful. Not every box is that good. Please know that when you get a box, you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. It's the way it goes. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like the video on the way out and make sure you're subscribed. Bye bye, bye bye, bye, bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye. Oh, the whole pile just fell down. <sighs> Seriously. One of these days, someone's going to come along and be like, Quemby, why are you making videos? <laughs> Including this incredible jacket. I think they called it like a... Mer why do I keep saying this wrong? I don't know what what are these like they're not buckles when it when it slides is that a buckle I don't know it's adjustable alrighty I'm gonna try and get this video done quickly before my next client my hair is still wet it looks a little weird oh well are we ready and I'm not really looking at the camera am I there sort of what do you think you're doing making videos? This is a voice in my head. 
not everybody should be making videos.